Hey everyone, my name is Rayma Mariello and I wanted to do a quick and short video series for those of you who have always wanted to be a writer. Um, have you ever had the dream of just writing a book? Have you wanted to write a blog? Uh, whatever the case may be, if you just have always had the desire to write, but you don't even know where to start, and maybe even the thought of writing makes you throw up in your mouth a little bit. Um, I wanted to do a video for you guys and just share uh, some of the things that I've learned along the way, some of the things that I would uh, like to have you guys avoid doing just to maybe make the process for you a little bit easier. So for this first video, um, I wanted to really speak to kind of the heart behind the writing. Um, I've had the honor and the opportunity of having quite a few phone calls with some people who have um, wanted to write. And the number one thing that I have found is that you need to be encouraged in that. I think writing is a very personal thing. Writing comes out, for the most part, unless it's a clinical um, reference, um, writing comes from a very personal part of you. You pull from uh, experiences, you pull from stories, you pull from uh, the creative side of you that sometimes we're afraid to share with an audience and it can be very intimidating. And for those of you who have been kind of paralyzed by fear, have not written because you've been afraid, I just want to let you know there is something inside of you that people need to he hear. You have a voice um, that's been given to you for a reason. You, <clears throat> you need to share it. Um, even if it's one person who reads your words and is encouraged by what you've written, is inspired by what you've written, then for me personally, in my opinion, is that it's worth it. Um, and I think I like to maybe look a little too far forward, but I never want to be at the end of my life and regret never having done it. Um, having all of these stories inside that I never put to paper. Um, I just don't want to live with regret. I have made mistakes along the way. I can look back and wish I had done a couple things differently, but I don't regret writing it. Um, I don't regret writing either of the books, and I'm not going to regret the books that I write in the future. Um, so don't allow fear to paralyze you or to postpone um, putting your thoughts in your words to paper any more. Um, and another part of the writing process is the why. I think you need to reconcile why are you wanting to write? Is it because you have a dream? Is it because it's always been a goal that you've set um, but you just have never accomplished or or a dream that you just have never um, allowed to materialize? Um, because when you can reflect back on the why, um, the future of, of where the book goes or what may happen with it and, and when you hold it in your hands and if, again, if you sell two copies, it doesn't matter because you have already reconciled why you've written it in the first place. And it will also help you stay focused throughout the writing process when you've already established why you're doing it. You know, maybe you're doing it uh, because you want to be famous. Um, for those of you who are writing for fame's sake, fame revolves solely around public opinion. Fame is fickle. Fame comes and goes. Fame is not permanent. And so if that is the reason why you're writing, I would like to encourage you to maybe go back to the drawing board because... Fame 
it, it, like I said, it's, it's not permanent. So if you're famous, you might be famous for five minutes, um, but you want to write from a place that's pure, not solely to um, become famous. I think that they, that is a very short term approach <laughs> to wanting to write. And then um, are you wanting to do it for a profit? Is it an avenue that you want to um, be your income? If that's the case, then your writing uh, approach and your style will be a little bit different. Um, but I think when before you even start to write and before you even go through the publishing process, reconcile first why you're doing it. Um, so that you don't drift along the way or you don't try to figure it out in the future uh, farther down the road of writing that you know from the get-go. I'm writing because I want to inspire others. I'm writing because I have a story that I feel like is going to encourage somebody else. I'm writing because it's a dream I've always had and it may never go anywhere, but I've accomplished a goal that I've set, you know, and sometimes that's good enough. Um, so again, reconcile why you're doing it in the first place. Um, and then I think where where to start. That's, that's a question I get pretty frequently. How do I even start writing? My answer to that is do not get hung up on starting at chapter one. I think oftentimes we get sidetracked by an opening um, that we kind of get stuck there and we don't go anywhere else. Uh, we don't write anywhere else because we get stuck on chapter one. Um, and then I've heard also that some people have an amazing opening and some people have an amazing end, but they get trapped in the middle. Um, don't get stuck in one particular place. I know for me, I didn't write my books in order. I just wrote. Um, and for mine, mine were devotional, so mine were short 30-day um, entries. And so mine weren't like really long chapters. So I can't really speak from the perspective of writing lengthy chapters. I can speak from writing, you know, short entries. Um, but I didn't start with day one. I wrote and then later I put them in order. So you may have an idea of of the flow and the layout of the book, um, which is great. I think it helps you have some structure to your writing style, but don't get hung up or stuck in a particular chapter because honestly, sometimes that chapter doesn't come out of you. Like you aren't you, you haven't fully creatively developed that chapter yet, so it's hard to write it. Um, and maybe you need to write a different chapter first, and then that one will come out of what you just wrote. Um, it may trigger something. It may inspire something. So don't get stuck um, in the beginning or the end or anywhere in particular. If you notice writing that particular chapter is really hard, um, try starting somewhere else. If you have a thought that you have that's greater developed in a different chapter or a different area of the book, go there. Write that. Because I think it becomes very discouraging when you are wanting to write and you get stuck in a particular chapter. They call it writer's block. You get stuck and it becomes discouraging and you begin to doubt why you're even doing what you're doing. But try writing something else. Try writing in a different chapter. Um, for me, the creative process will probably look different than you, but um, my writing comes out of, a lot of times, journal entries. Um, for me, I'm a faith-based writer, so a lot of my stuff comes from uh, what God has spoken to me about what I just read in the Bible or real life scenarios. God will teach me things through my kids, through nature, through things that I notice out in the world. And a lot of what I write comes from what God has 
it spoken to me about through those things and um, it'll come from journal entries and I will elaborate on things that God has highlighted through uh, reading the Bible. But for you, maybe you don't believe in God. Maybe that's not your thing. Maybe you're a fictional writer. What inspires you? What is the thing that you just feed off of in a creative way? What are what are things that jump out to you? Um, I encourage you, even if you're not a faith-based writer, journal. I think that is a good practice for everybody to do. You know, what What are things that you've learned along the way through your journey of life? Um, practically, if I have a thought that just pops into my head and I don't have a uh, pen and paper, which I actually lean more towards writing things down on paper. My husband hates that, but I, for me, I'm not sure why, but it, I prefer writing with pen and paper. I, co technology confuses me. Um, but if I am out in public and I have an idea or something strikes me as interesting or whatever the case may be, I will open um, I have like an ongoing notes section in my phone and I'll just write down thoughts or a trigger word that will bring the event back to my remembrance, um, things like that. So utilize the tools around you to keep track of your thoughts, to keep track of your creative ideas so that when you actually go back to writing, you don't have to try and recall, you actually have it written down. Um, Work on um, your storytelling. People will be captivated when you can learn to tell a great story and practice. And I know that sounds weird, um, but, but practice telling stories, whether that's to a friend, to your dog, whatever the case may be. Or, I mean, you could be in the shower and <clears throat> there might be a therapist watching that's like you have psychological issues, but... You might be in the shower and you might practice telling a story that you're wanting to write. Um, how does it come out? How does it come across? Um, yeah, get, so learn and practice with storytelling. Um, there are a lot of classes that you can take online to teach you how to write uh, in maybe a more coherent manner. So. I would say take as many classes as you can. Um, there's nothing wrong with that to, to further develop your writing skills. It's a craft. Um, writing is an art. And so practice. Um, maybe you want to write a book. Practice writing. Uh, if, you, if you don't have a blog, maybe start a blog first and, and just practice. Um, and I think one of the things that you have to be very aware of is do not allow the public opinion to dictate you continuing to write. Not everybody's going to love what you have to say. Not everybody's going to love what you write. People, their whole reason for existence is to, you know, write horrible comments to people Learn to have thick skin and to not allow those things to stop or to derail you from writing. It is you practicing uh, to become better at what you feel like you want to do. Um, so start a blog. There's there's a lot of free platforms for, for blogging. Um, write in a journal. That's great practice right there that nobody ever has to, to read. Um, and don't be afraid to ask for feedback. The people that you trust. I think if writing is new to you and you are asking for feedback, ask the people that you trust. The ones that are going to encourage you. The ones that are going to continue to fan the flame in you. The ones that you know have your best interest at heart. Not the ones that are jealous. They're, you're actually putting legs to a dream because those ones, that, that hurts when you share that with somebody that's close to you, but they are envious of maybe you, you 
like I said, putting legs to a dream. Um, just be aware of the people in your world who believe in you and uh, want to continue to push you towards uh, accomplishing a goal in a dream. Um, ask for feedback. Don't be afraid to send a chapter to somebody and ask them to read it. Uh, how did that story come across? Did it sound inspiring or hopeful? Did it evoke some sort of emotion? You know, don't don't be afraid to ask for feedback, but be cautious of who it is you are asking for feedback. Um, have a thick skin. Continue to practice. Do not get discouraged. Do not get stuck on one particular chapter. It's okay to begin to write and then stop. I can't tell you how many unfinished blog posts that I have that um, I'll start them, I'll get to a certain point, and then I'll stop because I feel like I've hit a wall, and then I'll write something else. I have a ton of those, and I'll actually feel inspired to then go back and to complete it when maybe I've had more clarity on the issue, I've had more revelation on the topic, or I have more creativity to complete it, or I have a story that needs to be added to it that I didn't have before. So don't be afraid to write and to stop and to come back. You know, um, set yourself a goal, an end date. For me, it took me um, it took me about a month to actually write my first book. Um, and then you go through the editing process and the artistic process and there's different steps after that. But it took me a month. But I had to actually set a date on a calendar and I actually told people what that date was to hold me accountable. Um, so set a date on a calendar and go for it. What do you have to lose? I mean, really. Yeah, it's it's intimidating. It's kind of scary because like I said, when you write, it comes from a place that's very personal and it's it sucks to feel rejected. But what do you have to lose? Don't come to the end of your life and regret never having written if that is something that you have always wanted to do. So I just, this video, I just want to encourage you, just start somewhere. Start anywhere. You don't have to start at the very beginning. You don't have to start at the end. You don't have to start in the middle. Just start writing anywhere and practice. Become a great storyteller. Set yourself a date um, and just go for it. Surround yourself with people that are going to encourage you um, and from one writer to another, you have a voice that the world needs to hear. There is a story inside of you that the world needs to hear. So I just want to um, encourage you that you can do it. Yes, it's intimidating, but you can do it. If it is a dream that you have, you can accomplish it. And... Um, so I hope that this encourages you. And for those of you who have written novels, those of you who have written longer books than what I have written, I would love to hear your input, your feedback. Um, what are some of the, the, what's the writing process look for you? I would love to hear that input because there might be people watching this video that can't uh, write in, with the same process that I do. So I would love to hear what was your creative process like? Um, how do you write your books? What inspires you? Maybe you're not a faith, uh, faith-based author. What inspires you? Um, what would help somebody else accomplish this goal in this dream? And I would just love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can follow me on social media on Facebook and Instagram. And I would love to get to know you guys and to encourage you. I would love to personally encourage you because I know that this is a unique <laughs> breed of people who write. Um, and so I think it always is really helpful when you have somebody who is cheering you on, who is walked in your shoes and who can encourage you in the next step of 
of making a dream a reality. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you check out video number two.